Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is a video I made a while ago about fixing my reciprocating saw. I fixed the switch, so I want to show you how to do that. Um, what else do I talk about? Oh, we also have a couple other power tool repair videos. I fixed my palm sander the other day, and I also fixed a circular saw. It's this kind of thing where I hate throwing stuff out, so I want to show you all. Fix your tools, and you'll have new tools, and you saved a bunch of money, and you learned something maybe. Ready? Here we go. What you got there? This is called a reciprocating saw, and my trigger switch is broken. These are really, really great tools for like cutting plumbing pipe or joists out of a roof or a ceiling, or they're great for demoing stuff. What's really nice is if you have to get it up into somewhere, the blades bend. You can shove it up in somewhere and it goes and it cuts. It doesn't snap off. They'll snap eventually, but I mean, the, the, the blades are essentially disposable. Anyway, the switch um, stopped working. So I went onto the Sears website and you can, um, you can order parts there, believe it or not. So I ordered a switch. It was really, really easy. And Cheap? Yeah, I think the switch was $3. The shipping cost more than, the, uh, than the, the switch did. You know, a lot of times, people's tools break, and you can fix them. You can find them on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Generally... Is this plugged in? No, no, you have to make sure it's unplugged. Good. So we're going to take these screws out to get to our switch here. You can do that. Well, maybe. Sometimes these screws are really in there, so... So you take all the screws out, and sometimes it's not obvious. Sometimes the screws are hidden underneath labels, like like this label here. That metal label? Well, this is a plastic label on a, on a case, and there might be a screw underneath here hiding to get the case off. I don't think there is in this case. When you pop this open, um, you got to be careful because sometimes there are stuff in there that there's springs and stuff that might go flying. So try and find an obvious place to pop the case. Like right there. Oh, I forgot to take some more screws out. Okay, now, perfect world, this should pop out. How perfect is your world? Well, it's, my world's good. Ooh, there you go, something went flying. So you, gotta be, <laughs> so you gotta be careful. Well, this is the switch here. That's what we're fixing? That's what we're fixing. Okay. And this is a, a throttle, a speed setting, which doesn't need to be fixed. It would never occur to me to change the switch myself. It's easy to do. What's going on with those wires? Uh, I don't know. That's a little tricky. Um, well, I can't really see how they're, uh, how you get them out is the question. <laughs> so. It's going to be a short-lived episode. Take your jeweler's screwdrivers. Does everybody have those? Oh, yeah, everyone's got little screwdrivers. I think these uh, might have what's called stab locks. This is being held in here by a little spring tension. So you just, you press in here. Is it your jewel or something? With your jeweler's screwdriver. Well, I think that's what's happening. Oh, I, think I think I'm gonna have to break down and put on my... Ah! <laughs> Feel free to make fun of them. Yeah. Now you can write in. Now I got something to write about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the new switch trying to figure out how the See old switch works. The new switch. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was trying to nicely get the uh, nicely. wires out of here. You had to be rude? Well, I just realized that the switch is broken anyway, so I thought there would be a little release to get these. These are these are held in a little spring loaded thing. But I can't get it uh, to release, so if all else fails, bust it. Break it open. You don't find that intimidating? No, no. I do. So now we can take the wires out. There you go, nicely. These other two wires are held in by a little uh, screws here. Um, I forgot to mark which wires go where. <laughs> I forgot to mark which wires go where in the switch. But thankfully we videotaped this, so we can rewind the videotape and uh, take a look. <laughs> but since you're not going to videotape your tool repair, you should write down, make a little diagram 
Maybe you should. Which we're going to do right now. Or you could have your better half videotape your escapades and send them to us. All right, so we made a diagram, um, which we should have done ahead of time. I don't know if you can read that, but I can. This is the new switch. We're going to put the switch in. And then the red wire goes in like that. So that goes in. Press that in. Easily. Yeah. Yep. And you don't have to screw anything? Well, I, for, for the ones on, on this side, you don't have to screw them. And the ones here, you screw. I don't know why they did that, but, you know, I didn't, I didn't build the thing. All right, so these go in here. Screw that down. We put the switch back in. Uh, we got to put the case back together, and then we'll test it. Don't test this until you have it all put back together again. You don't want to shock yourself, okay? You should pay attention to how the thing came apart so you can put it back together. Okay, so I figured out how to get all the wires together. You have to just kind of take care to put them in the little channels. So now we're ready to put this thing back together again. So, in a perfect world, this all slips right together. And this seems to be doing that, scary as it sounds. So we go back to our container of screws. Thanks, cow. Bill is here. Um, yeah, howdy. <laughs> I'm going to switch to the speed drill to make this go faster. You just have to make sure they're tight. Not too tight because you may have to take the thing back apart again. Knowing my look. Okay? Okay. Do a little Eric idiot check. Make sure that you've got all the screws back in and that you don't have any more parts in here. Switch uh, clicks at least, so we're going to plug it in and see what happens. Should we get out the fire extinguisher? Yeah. We have a fire extinguisher in the basement. You should all have a fire extinguisher in your basement. Could we find it if we needed it? I know where it is. Where? Okay, ready? <laughs> Should I put on some safety equipment? Mr. Magoo glasses. <laughs> Yay. Wow. Yay. What was wrong with it? The switch was broken. I wouldn't do that. That worked. So there you go. If you want to see our palm sand repair or other DIY videos, the links are in the show notes here. Questions or comments, love to hear from them. We put out videos every week. If you like eclectic DIY and my two best friends here, subscribe and I'll see you later. Make it a great day. Three best friends. Oh, that's right. Am I in trouble now? No. Oh, good. <laughs>